How's it going YouTube? So as always we're back here in the warehouse and another weekend with a lot of things going on and then next weekend there's even going to be more stuff going on and uh, probably a little surprise but we'll have to wait till then to see but uh, for now uh, as you saw the last video Jack was working on his 40 and getting really close to being complete and maybe you can start dailying it maybe off-road it at the uh, dealer's parking lot we'll see how that goes but the main focus or should be the main focus but you know who knows things could change is the 60 so as you last saw um, hasn't changed much um, from the last video we've been uh, getting it gutted out it might be a little bit cleaner now so that might be a little bit different but yeah it's a uh, pretty much gutted um, getting it ready for paint and uh, yeah it kind of it's kind of throwing me back to when I was getting my 60 ready uh, for prepping it and getting it ready for paint you know seeing it like this it just throws back uh, good and bad memories it gets good memories it was, it was, it was really fun uh, I really enjoyed it and then helping Jack take apart his 60 you know just like I was like hey this is like deja vu but um yeah so we're getting closer to getting this ready for paint as far as the inside because we are going to be painting I don't know how far but I know like all the door seals and window edges are going to be painting I don't know if he wants to paint the floor uh, we'll find out but uh, yeah there's still a lot of body work that needs to be done um, you can see here there's a small little hole uh, I was welding this, uh, helping him weld that back in place, or tack weld, uh, along with some other stuff. But yeah, there's still some more work that needs to be done before we can get ready to paint. Uh, does there, there's there's work that needs to be done. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be helping him whatever he needs help with. Um, I heard he said he wanted to do some wire wheeling. There still needs to be a lot of welding that needs to be done. But I don't know where he's at right now, he took off. But anyways, I got some a few things for the mini truck and I'm gonna take fix that or get that taken care of uh, while he's gone. So first thing is first, I know it's dark, you can't see me. Um, I did get some new, or some, I got a new speakers for the mini truck um what it has right now are these small like i think they're like five and a quarter it has these these small speakers which just aren't doing it they're just very high pitched um i don't know all the terminology for frequencies and lowers and mids and highs but i've already got this one installed here and it sounds way better so much better so uh, I'm gonna be installing the second one on the other door and it's so much bigger and uh, yeah it sounds a lot better and it's like I don't know I never learned I know on the Land Cruiser I don't know how many sub configurations I went through until I was like all right I know what I need to get and that was a solo barrack so I'm not gonna get a solo barrack for this because it won't fit but uh uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm not gonna go that, that much further into uh, audio on this truck. But um, another thing I did get is this. I got, let me show you. This LED conversion uh, headlight, so it fits into the factory setting, and but has an LED light. And I've already installed one, and uh, yeah, it's a huge difference. Let me uh, show you what it looks like. So I know showing how lights and audio on camera work doesn't really work out that well as in person, but this is just to give some visual, visual, some visual of uh, the comparison between the two. Obviously on the driver uh, is the LED light 
and the passenger is the original halogen light. Um, so that's what it looks like on camera. Uh, in front, you can obviously see the color difference, which is not what I was looking for. But, um, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I do like the color difference. I like that brighter white color. Um, but most importantly, what I wanted was the difference in brightness. So, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's definitely brighter. Like, all this right here is pretty much the LED light which goes more you know into the passenger side and then this part is just the halogen light but what i'm going to do right now you give me a second I'll hop into the bad boy and uh just try to give you another visual of um the difference you get closer to the wall and you can see um, of uh, what the lights, uh, the LED compared to the halogen light. So it's, you know, obviously it's a brighter uh, uh, color, not as warm as a halogen light. Um, it does seem to be a little bit brighter. Uh, I did drive like this on the way over here, but I did have to adjust the headlight because it was pointing upwards. So I adjusted a little bit further down. Um, might even need have to go a little bit further down, but they're pretty much even right now. But yeah, that's a uh, just a comparison to give you some idea. Um, so far, I'm really liking it. I think it's a. I'll find out after this once I have both headlights in, um, if it's really uh, a difference, as well as because the LED light is now uh, positioned correctly, so it's pointing down instead of you know kind of up. So you know it was lighting the road, but I can tell it was a. Uh, it was pointing too further up and I guess just for, for fun funsies that's the, uh, the high beams yeah uh, you probably can't see me right now but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the other light back in or put the second LED light in and I'm on the phone. yeah that's my phone as well as uh, install the second speaker. So, it's gonna be for now. I'll give you an update a little bit later. All right, so the work on the 60 is continues, and here's a little bit of update. There's a lot more um, patches that were made. Uh, you can see here, I think we stopped about right here. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit more patches, a little bit more um, removing of ex um, existing Bondo. This looks a little bit different. Now we're uh, in the process of redoing this lip for the... Uh, um, weather uh, the windshield gasket because it was kind of like uh, I don't know like teeth I don't know how to explain it but yeah it was pretty bad it was like this so putting on the windshield again was gonna be it was just gonna tear the string the way we uh, install the windshield so you can see here uh, we're updating fixing that so it looks a little bit more like this a little bit more uniform and um, so yeah, that's uh, where we're at right now. Doors off on the driver's side, a couple more patches um, that were made, and um, getting rid of all the, anything that we don't want painted, so the front grille, all that is off. And uh, yeah, getting closer to getting this ready for paint. We still need a Bondo once we get, you know, um, all the patches done this is all cleaned up now I think last time there were still 
just like spot welds here. Yeah, dude. I think it's time. Right. Um, here, I don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, some more holes there. I do. Somebody spotied it, and then somebody came in and welded it, and then ground it down. But we're gonna, what we're gonna do... They didn't finish, like, closing it off. We're gonna take a copper backing plate, and we're gonna fill in with weld. Same with the aftermarket. Um, oh, yeah, these are gonna be closed off, too, yep. right? Yeah. That way we're doing factory uh, side mirrors. I think that was a dealer option. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So before the 60 had um, a rear view mirror similar to the ones on the mini truck where they have the two brackets here. Uh, Jack got rid of those and got some, uh, I guess, uh, 60. Factory. Yeah, 60 factory uh, rear view mirrors that just need the top two bolts. So we're going to close that up, weld that in. This cancer is actually from the original uh, Toyota Land Cruiser plate. Right, you could see the factory holes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one he had before was like, um, I think for a forty. Uh, yeah, it was plastic. This has been uh, welded up, grinded. Looks pretty good. Probably just do some seam sealer. Actually, then, what we're gonna uh, do is we're gonna, we're gonna sand it first. Are we gonna do some bondo here too? Uh, the, definitely bondo. Yeah. But we're gonna sand it down smooth first, mm -hmm. then bondo. Yeah, Jack's uh, off-roading sixty is gonna be soon a mall crawler. And then he's going to get another 60 so he can off-road it. Yeah. No, what he's going to do is so get do 100 so he can off-road that. And then he actually, I think the plan is he's going to sell it to me. Turn the 80 into a mall crawler. <laughs> but yeah, work continues on the 60 and then... Uh, Just the cycle of cruiser life. Yeah. It starts off as an off-road beater and then you put way too much time and money into it. And then you get another beater. And so officially <laughs> you called the 60, I'm taking the 40. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm good. down with that. Okay. Yeah, we'll continue working on the 60, get it ready for paint, and uh, we'll update you then. <laughs> all right, so we're up here with an update on Jack 60. There's been a lot of metal work that's been done. Um, I think I've talked about this several times that we've been meaning to work on this and get this filled in, and it's finally time that it's actually here. It's all, all done. There's some more patches that were made. Uh, I guess more rust was uh, was found and uh, we got that taken care of. And by, I mean we, I mean Jack and a buddy of ours. I think also there was a crack that they uh, took care of and got that all fixed up. So Jack changed those out to a more, um, I guess, uh, standard 60 side mirrors where it only uses these two bolts. So they closed up those holes on both the doors. Over here is a lot more work that's been done. It's looking super good. Here, all this. And then right now, Jack's working on the rear tailgate, and uh, which was really bad. I didn't realize how bad it was until he uh, got rid of all the Bondo. But pretty Wait, much, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There it is. There it is. All so, its glory. I guess the plan for this is to ideally we would want one patch, but the sheet metal we have is not long enough, so we'll have to do two patches. Of other Land Cruisers. <laughs> the sad oh. part is, is, it probably was at some point. Oh, it for was sure. Wide it was definitely long enough. For sure. Uh, when we did my 60, I used a is piece this? of the sheet metal oh, yeah, that one to do all the patches. Has given life to many Land Cruisers. Yeah. That so the Genesis sheet. that's where we're at right now. Also, I think a lot of this has been welded up back here, um, which uh, yeah, yeah, like all this has been done. Yeah, it's looking a lot. A lot of progress has been made, and uh, there still is uh, another sheet that needs to be welded into place here to cover this part up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's coming along. I think the plan next, once we get all the metal work done, is uh, obviously we're going to use our favorite 415 to prevent rust. And uh, once we do that, Bondo, get this stuff smoothed out a little bit. And because uh, Jack has to get it ready for Dillard's and uh, coffee and cars. And he's going to look immaculate. Apple and then, store, yeah, oh, right. Apple Store. You need a new phone, right? Yeah, Apple Store. Right. And then once we get all that done, hopefully 
get it painted this weekend. I don't know. But uh, that's the plan for now. And uh, if we get it painted. Are we going to get it painted this weekend, Jack? Yeah. Oh. CMB. We're definitely getting it painted this weekend. But um, that's it for now. Um, I'll update you guys later as we go. But if not, hope you guys enjoyed. Check you all later. Come back next week for the final product.